Well, it's about 9 p.m. Monday night. Still a little windy and nasty outside, but most of the snow has passed already. As anyone in New York knows, uh, we got hit with a pretty nasty nor'easter, two feet uh, in a lot of places. I mean, you know, the snow is like up to the wall of my driveway, which is about four feet high. Most of the driveway is at least knee high, I think about two feet. And the street is definitely not drivable, at least with a, a 2001 Ford Taurus, even though I have snow tires. If I put chains on, maybe I'd be okay. If I had all wheel drive and snow tires or like a pickup truck and snow tires, it's definitely drivable with the right equipment. But <laughs> New York is not set up for this. The average person is not set up for this. And the main issue is on Frankie's syringe meat, we have to send all orders out Monday, especially California, especially West Coast, in order for them to not get held over the weekend. Even if we send them out Tuesday, there's a chance that some of the packages are held and we lose a lot of money because we always refund our customers full value, which no other meat company does. Now, you know, it being Monday night at 9 p.m., I'm fairly certain we will not get the West Coast orders out this week, which is why I'm making this video. You know, I wanted to apologize to you guys because even if we're able to get down there, you know, in you know six, seven hours from now at four or five a.m., which is unlikely, you know, we called the postal service, we called UPS today, they didn't even pick up. So even if we got down to Frankie's Free Range Meat and filled the orders today, we would have been stuck with a bunch of packages. Uh, so maybe in the morning we can go down, maybe we can't, but it doesn't really matter at this point because either way we cannot send the West Coast California orders with this snowstorm. All of the East Coast shipping is definitely backed up to, you know, God knows how badly. So even if we do send all the California packages express tomorrow, we might lose a lot of money. So we can't do it. You know, best case scenario, I can get down there tomorrow morning and we can fill some of the East Coast and Central American orders. But it's looking more like Wednesday is going to be the day. And then hopefully those orders get there on time. I don't think we want to delay every single order until next week uh, because we want people to get their meat. And, you know, if we don't send orders out this week, you know, we're going to be out a lot of money ourselves. You know, if we're, <laughs> I mean, if we're out a week's worth of orders of income, that might be, uh, that might be very bad for Frankie's your age me considering how things are going. You know, I didn't really want to talk about this and I wanted to keep everything positive, you know, because I was hoping that I could, you know, work things out with Frankie's syringe meat over the next few weeks. But, you know, I don't want you guys to get surprised with anything because, you know, we are providing a lot of people with high quality animal nutrition on a consistent basis. Uh, so let me just show you guys how bad the snow is over here. I'm standing on about 10 inches of packed down snow right now. And you can see, you know, the wall of the driveway. The cars have a decent amount of snow on them, not too much, but you know, it's two feet of snow. I mean, two feet of snow, that's what you expect. The, the wind has made it a pain in the ass because that's probably, you know, really high on the wall there. And I don't really want to go walking through this because, you know, when I go to shovel this tomorrow, it's going to be all packed down and it's going to be a pain to, to shovel. But, you know, I'll wake up around 5 or 6 a.m. I'll see how much I can clear this out and probably not going down to the city tomorrow uh, to fill the orders. I want to show you guys the snow some more, but my camera freezes when it's cold outside and the video gets deleted. I have to call Canon support or something because uh, uh, that's not supposed to be happening. Uh, and I might even have to warm this camera up before I can film the rest of this video. But if you missed the update video on Frankie's Strange Meat last week, I kind of said like things aren't going too well, you know, we're just about breaking even. And that was a bit of an understatement of what's actually going on. So the original Frankie Syringe Me facility didn't require us to really put any money down. We were just paying, you know, for time in the space on a monthly basis. And over the course of, you know, about a year, we saved up enough money to get a commercial lease on this new space get a freezer, get all the equipment we need to run the business. Now, that was all set up in July, August of last year. So July 2020, we're set up in the new space. You know, we should be pulling in money. And come October, November, December, the bank account's still even. You know, we're not making money. I'm kind of freaking out because I don't know what's going on. We have this new commercial lease. We're in this new facility. We were able to make enough money to save up for that new facility, but now it's even. I'm not down there, I'm not running the operation, I'm not placing orders, 
I don't know what's going on. You know, it's gotten to this kind of extreme point where now I'm probably going to basically have to be hands on with everything myself, figure out what's going on. And uh, I'm going to turn this light back on. I said we were breaking even. Uh, we're not. You know, Adam is owed a lot of money. I'm owed a lot of money. We had to fire our employees last week. So, you know, me and Adam are now back to the drawing board of doing everything ourselves, which I'm really not happy about. You know, I mean, you know, I, 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 don't, I don't really know what to say about that. Uh, but, you know, I, I've made it this far with everything, and uh, I'm certainly going to make it work, uh, regardless of what has to be done. And, you know, worst case scenario, I just have to scale back the business a little bit. Instead of selling all of these items a la carte, we might have to move back to, you know, the package model where you buy a beef package, you buy a local beef package, a Wagyu beef package, and we don't sell as much stuff a la carte separately. What that does is, you know, it allows much less prep work, much less time packaging the boxes because everything's pretty much the same. Uh, so that would simplify things and make it a lot easier to, uh, you know, just take some stress off, uh, you know, let me figure out what to do with the business, what I need to do and uh, take it from there. Yeah, a lot of you guys were commenting like, oh, you know, it's great. Most businesses take three, four, five years to start making a profit. It's great that you're breaking even. I don't know if that's a gaslighting tactic. I don't know if that's lying, but I really do think it is. When you're telling me that it's okay that I'm not making money for three, four, five years, I'm making other people money. If I told you how much money I've made other businesses on packaging supplies, farmers, slaughterhouses, your jaw would drop. Everyone's making money but me. No, 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 no. No, that is complete horse shit because every single other business I've started has been completely fine. All of those businesses being on my own. Uh, so I'm going to make sure that Frankie's Syringe Meat gets the same treatment. I recognize the low-hanging fruit. I understand where the demand is, what I need to supply, and uh, I'm going to make it happen. But I, I really wasn't happy about, you know, those comments about, you know, breaking even being good, uh, mainly because, you know, that's not a good attitude to have. How can you pay people a living wage? How can you have employees? How can you do this? How can you do that? I feel really bad for those guys that were let go because, you know, they don't have another job lined up. They're probably not going to get another job, uh, you know, in the middle of all of this stuff going on. And, and uh, the other main reason was I, you know, made a mistake in that video last week. I said we were breaking even, but we weren't. Uh, so really needed to clarify that stuff for you guys. I don't know if I said I was losing my mind last week, but I'm, I'm definitely losing my fucking mind. Like at this point, look, it's, it's 10 p.m. I'm filling orders for Frankie's Naturals and, you know, Wi-Fi shielding in my parents' basement. I got to go down at 4 a.m. maybe fill orders for organ supplements. Like, like how much longer am I going to, I just really don't know. Because you know, it's supposed to get easier. I said this a couple weeks ago, I think. Like, the reason I stuck through all this stuff was because I was assuming at some point in time I was going to be able to make more money or, or get rewarded in some way where I wouldn't have to kill myself every single day hands on everything myself. Having to learn so many things is incredibly difficult. It is, it is insane. Having to make hygiene and cosmetic products, make supplement products, Learn how to do labels. Learn how to. There, there is no one else I'm confident in saying that has done as many things and as many businesses as I am on their own. Usually, they pay consultants. They have people helping them. And ah, oh my God, even just having someone film and edit the videos for me, it's just I have to do everything myself. It's been going for two years now, and it's just too much. At what point am I just going to say it's not worth it? You know. I mean, I mean, the only reason I've, I've stuck through this for so long is because I really do hope people can live happier and healthier lives than, than I have and that most people have, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me. Uh, check out frankdestefano.com for all the businesses, all that type of stuff. And I'll try to update you guys uh, n next week, maybe two weeks from now, on what's going on. I'm, I'm sure something's going to happen this week that's fairly eventful. Maybe we'll just do a vlog next week of us trying to catch up on these orders. But, you know, if you guys can place an order with Frankie's Syringe Meat for next week, especially if you're on the East Coast, Central, you know, we're trying to. Um, maybe what we'll do is I'll, I'll do like a sale on something or we'll do like a free ground beef with the order just to get some more order volume for next week. Mm -hmm.